at 35 faces production challenges due to new upgrades coming under the Technology Refresh 3 program. Technology Refresh 3 program will eventually give rise to the much-awaited Block 4 upgrade of the F-35. Block 4 will give rise to increase weapon-carrying capacity of the F-35A and see variants from 4 to 6 air-to-air -air missiles. The ongoing Technology Refresh 3 program is aimed at upgrading the processing power and memory of F-35 computers along with enhancing the display system. Due to extended testing and developmental phase of ongoing programs F-35 production is facing challenges. But Lockheed Martin is looking to surpass production target in 2024 thereby minimizing the financial losses. When it comes to the Chinese fifth-generation fighter, J-20 production will exceed to 120 aircrafts per year. If the information is reliable then it will be a sign of Chinese increasing confidence in its stealth fighter. J-20 is the only non-American fighter jet to go into full production and be active in service at squadron level. The number seems to be high but it is also true that China masters production capability. According to some reports China already has over 200 of these J-20s in service. Ukraine has been requesting for F-16 Vipers for some time now. According to latest reports Ukraine might get these multi-role fighter jets by the end of this year. The U.S. is moving rapidly to get F-16s to Ukraine. Training of Ukrainian pilots and other maintenance and support crew will be taken care of with the help of 11 other countries. The F-16 Viper is one of the most capable fourth-generation multi-role fighter jet. The F-16 will sure come handy to Ukraine in suppression of air defense missions, air-to-ground strike missions, air-to-air -air combat, and deep strike missions and if needed naval target strike missions as well. Dassault Aviation has won the contract for 26 deck-based fighter jets for Indian Navy's new aircraft carrier. Rafael an F-18 Super Hornet was in the race for the contract. India's new carrier has a ski jump for takeoff and both fighter jets showcase their capabilities from an offshore facility in India. Indian Air Force already operates 36 Rafael jets and is quite pleased with their operational capabilities. This fighter jet procurement comes as a bridge between the existing MiG-29K fighter jets of the Indian Navy and the upcoming twin-engine deck-based fighter that India is currently working on. And it will be an indigenous platform. According to some Russian media there are talks about Russia developing the S-550 air defense system. Russia started deploying S-500 Prometheus air defense system since 2020. S-550 is being developed and designed with the intention of tracking and intercepting ballistic missiles in ranges longer than that of S-500 system. It would also be capable of intercepting intercontinental ballistic missiles. This system will have enhanced space defense capabilities. And experts also think that it could be very well effective against low-Earth orbit spacecraft namely the American X-37B and it would definitely have anti-satellite capabilities. For some the S-550 would be a road mobile system capable of destroying intercontinental ballistic missiles which will be much better in capability when compared with the US-made Terminal High Altitude Air Defense System and Aegis Air Defense Systems. The capabilities and role of this system will be clear once the system completes development. Still then all the options mentioned could very well be a possibility with the new S-550 system. India has successfully launched the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft on July 14 with the aim of landing on the south pole of the moon. The spacecraft includes a rover, orbiter, and a lander. Chandrayaan-3 weighs around 3,900 kilograms. Its lander is named Vikram and weighs around 1,500 kilograms. Pragyan which is the rover weighs around 26 kilograms. The word Pragyan means wisdom in Sanskrit. The lander is expected to reach the moon between 23rd and August 24th. If the soft landing is successful India will be the fourth country to do so after USA, Soviet Union, and China. The project cost is around $75 million and has several missions. Chandrayaan-3 aims to demonstrate safe and soft landing on moon surface, rover roving on the moon and also conduct various in-situ scientific experiments. 
The rover has alpha particle X-ray spectrometer and laser-induced breakdown spectroscope to study the elemental composition in the vicinity of landing site.